Hey, they're on. See that? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That is amazing. Holy crap, look at that. Doing something. This is exciting. I thought I wouldn't get much out of that. I wasn't sure. I've shown my successes in these videos before, but I wanted to show all of my footage of me experimenting with different ideas. I did test this once and I got a reading off of it. And then Some of them seemed kind of ridiculous because it was based off of maybe a simple image with no information, but I tried every idea I had. Um, I haven't really figured out <clears throat> how to do this yet. I now better understand what is happening here. As the video goes, I'll post a picture or a graphic of what I was learning because looking back, I could see what I was trying to do. Well, there you have it. Here's a flashlight that's run on cement. I'm gonna try to just present these videos as uncut as possible. Based off of these small successes, I know that there is incredible technology that we can have in our hands that we ourselves can make in our own backyard. These are just simple tests, so I'm not doing anything too consistently with the size of the plates or anything, but I just want to see if they work and if they're in series, if they're going to make any kind of significant successful tests or anything. So we'll just see how this works and we'll get to that point. All I have to say is wow. That is amazing. I'm really wondering how small I can get these cells and it'll still get a, the same charge. I was thinking maybe I could replace this rechargeable battery and just put little smaller cells of the cement battery Put them all, stack them all like that, and then this will replace the this dead battery, and I could just slide it in there, and then get this battery to work, get the flashlight to work again. It's 
So I'm just going to go ahead and put some caps on the end. So this is what I decided to do. I was going to take one of these aluminum caps for the tea lights. I was going to put it in there, connected this wire to it, put it at the bottom of this cap, and then I put a groove on the side there so the wire can go on the side. So as I basically mash down on that connection should work out So it works, I just got to get it together. And I'm just going to string this through positive negative, and then I'll have a switch on it. Well, that's it. Well, there you have it. Here's a flashlight that's run on cement. And you could build this yourself really fast. You could see my first test and you could see that I just did it simply with the tea light candle things put a little bit of cement in there copper thing on top put it all in series put a little switch in there and it works so I know this can be improved a lot and then you could probably use other materials you could experiment with different ideas and this could be a lot brighter probably you could probably get a Joule thief in there. You could look that up on what that is. Uh, multiplies the volts or the amperage or whatever it is. I'm still learning about it. So, but this is the first test and for this flashlight. And any of you can do this real simply. And you could do your own version of it. I was going to make smaller little cells so that I could possibly fit it in a flashlight like this, and then just replace the battery and then just have an everlasting flashlight. I have yet to test on how long this lasts and from what I know it's when you put the load on or the light on it's gonna it's gonna deplete the energy that's in there that's in the cement and and then when you turn it off it recovers on its own and it probably recovers you know pretty close to where it was 
but it always recovers. That's from what I know, and you could have a continual light. One of my ideas that I had was if you want a, a continual flow, you could make two cells like this and then have it run on the one cell in series. And then when it depletes down, you could switch it over to the other cell. So a lot of these power ideas can be used in different ways, and you could think of probably a thousand different ways of doing this. But the concept is that there is quartz inside cement, and the cement, when it hardens, it basically becomes a, a rock. So then you can uh, put a copper plate or a copper tube inside the cement and then a aluminum something aluminum find aluminum somewhere so it has a positive and a negative and a anode and a cathode and then basically that polarizes it makes it positive and negative and then put a light or an LED in between.